Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, a 90-year-old soldier returns to Camp Mead. Massing of the Colors is coming up and Mother's Day brunch details. These stories and more. But as Child Abuse Prevention Month comes to a close, we spoke with Captain Deborah Stone, Chief of Social Work Service at Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center, about the form of child abuse that's most common and the most unreported, neglect. Most of the time we find that the kids' emotional needs are being neglected when the parents are having struggles with each other because then the per parents' attention is going on the parental struggle rather than the children. For parents that suspect child abuse by an outsider, discussing the issue can be problematic. Many times parents just can't even bring themselves to address it with their children and that's okay too. Uh, just bring it to the attention of the professionals and the professionals are trained on how to interview children about abuse. Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center offers several resources for concerned parents, as does the Fort Meade Garrison through Army Community Services and DES. For more, check out this short video from childwelfare.gov and the Child Welfare Information Gateway. Information Gateway is where child welfare and other related professionals and the general public can connect to timely, credible resources. For information to help you protect children and strengthen families, stay connected with Child Welfare Information Gateway. Go to www.childwelfare.gov. You can call us toll free at 800-394-3366 or email info at childwelfare.gov. Child Welfare Information Gateway a service of the Children's Bureau. In other news, you may or may not know that Fort Meade was once Camp Meade and through the World Wars trained hundreds of thousands of soldiers and deployed them overseas. One of those soldiers, Ernest P. Fager, came through Camp Meade in 1943. Nearly 70 years later, he's back. Fager and five of his children, almost all of them veterans, celebrated his 90th birthday this week with a trip to Camp Meade. My father had started writing down stuff so that us, his children, his grandchildren, his great-grandchildren would know what he did in the war. Well, when we got the, the handwritten stuff, my sister started writing it, or typing it all out, she saw that he had come to Fort Meade, and none of us really knew that before. So she sent an email or a telephone call to Fort Meade just at the PAO site, and within a half hour she had a call from the commanding officer here. And that's kind of when we decided that, you know what, we ought to take Dad and take him back to the first post he went to after leaving Fort Sill. I went in October and I'd done my basic training at Fort Sill, and then they shipped me from Fort Sill to Fort George G. Meade, and uh, that was when it was making a big push on Africa, I think. And uh, they evidently they didn't need us when we got here, so then they turned around after we was here a couple of months or something like that shipped us back across the United States to Fort Camp, or Camp Stoneman, California. And then we shipped out to the South Pacific. It was a, a nice experience. They had a good, uh, I liked the cattery here and uh, the, I always was impressed with the food and everything we had here. We didn't have that good at Fort Sill. And uh, here, when we walked into the, bar uh, the, the kitchen, there was tables right there by the door where you came in and that's where the officers eat. And you see what they was gonna eat because it was set out there for them. And then we went on in and we got our, the same thing. We eat the same thing as they did. Now in Fort Sill, it wasn't that way. Coming to see the places that shaped him is what uh, it makes us proud. It makes us a little bit in awe of the things that, we've, that he's seen and done. We just want to be a little piece, have a little piece of that and be a little part of it. I'm a little bit in awe too about all the things my sons have done too. I mean, they've done great. They, I think they've done greater, maybe better than I did. And finally, it's still a couple of weeks away, but Club Mead's Mother's Day brunch does sell out quickly. This year's event is coming up Sunday, May 13th. There are two seating times, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Again, reservations do go quickly for this event. Call today, 301-677. 6969. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.